was an absolute pleasure having you guys. Ah, wow. Go. Thank you for having us. Really a pleasure. <laughs> pleasure. Yeah, thank you. Mm. Babe, huh? I'll send you the list now. Please check. Okay, okay. How much is it? 600,000. And the reason why it's up to that Babe, is... I'm not complaining. I just want to know how much because I can't go through that list right now. Right, there you go. Sent it. Really? Thank you, babe. You're welcome. I haven't seen it though, but I'll wait. to answer. Whenever you are ready to talk, I'll be here for you, okay? Let me get you something to drink. Thank you. I think so understand. You're welcome. To change this shop so they've gone so bad. Sorry. You know, I really wish I could just and the money will just appear for you to fix it. As well. Um, by the way, babe, you remember that money we spoke about? That's where home I'll transfer it to you. So I don't spend it there. Which oh okay, oh, okay. You know what? Just easy to fix the car. Wow, really? Yeah. Uh, or will it not be enough? Uh, it should be. And uh, even if it's not enough, I'll uh, make it up. Uh, thanks so much. I really appreciate it. Uh, where did you guys park? Um, down there. Uh, okay, it's not too far away. Yes. Yeah, nice. Hopefully, we get to see you guys again. Yeah, yeah, yeah soon. soon. Thanks, bye. guys. Bye. Yeah, bye. bye. Take care. your car eh? the shops are completely dead just look at how we're receiving every impact i've not been complaining about it for weeks now uh -huh. you've been complaining but hasn't done anything about it who complain help no money then they use fix them and you know the times we're in now so everything is about the times we are in the same way i've been begging my own husband to give me some more money stephanie we've been over this countless times it's just a face what face you are not in any face you're just a very, very stingy man, even to yourself. Did you hear how Cynthia was casually talking about how Ayo gave her 600,000? I mean, casually. How's Ayo now? Ayo has the money. Really? Don't you end well? Or what have you been doing with all your money? Oh, so you are the Hakimi in Nigeria, saving money with your mother in the village, right? the matter now? I mean, I don't like the fact that you just keep to yourself. 
You don't get me involved in your life. I don't know what's up with you, but time. You don't even think about me. I mean. Really? Is there anything you ever asked of me that I haven't given you? I spend so little on myself and give you literally everything. And all you can do is sit here and tell me I don't think about you. See, so, yeah, be careful, though. Ayo, this is not about money. It's about what? Should I stop giving you money? That's not what I'm talking about. Oh. I mean, marriage is way more than what you're talking about. What about intimacy? I need that from you. What about you allow, allowing me into your life, getting me involved with you? I mean, don't you think so? Where are we? Where are we? Is this us our house? Is this not our living room? Your name is on the documents of this house. What do you mean by involvement? What more involvement do you mean? I don't think you understand. No, you don't get me. Didn't you hear, didn't you hear when Stephanie even said that she gives a maker some space when necessary? Well, oh, you don't think it's necessary to give me some space now? Please, don't ever compare me with any other person again. Please, don't do that. Isn't he your friend and brother? Or did I lie about what I said? Ah, okay. So, did you hear when he said Cynthia saves for him? She gives him change sometimes. Why would he give her money when she asks for more? Oh, this is it here? Yes. You think I'm a reckless spender? No, 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 no. I never used that word reckless. But well, that's exactly what you are insinuating. And look at you, now comparing your wife with another woman. Look, Stephanie, we, should, we shouldn't be like this. Comparing ourselves to other people. Ah, we're unique in our own ways. It's been bothering me. What exactly is bothering you? Your sudden stinginess. You weren't like this before. Okay. I didn't want to do this before, but... Do what? Where are we going to? I want to show you something. What? Look, let me explain. Women want company when they're upset. And that's why a woman wants to give comfort to someone who's upset by providing company. Women want listening ears and not necessarily solution. They just want to rant. And that's why, I guess that's why you always want me to tell you what's happening to me at every point in time. Men, on the other hand, are wired differently. When a man is upset, he just wants to be left alone. <sighs> See, a man will only complain if he believes that a possible solution will come as a result of that complaint. And that's why you see a man would always offer a solution when you're in a fix or in a dilemma. I had to learn the hard way not to do that. You yourself will testify to the fact, you've said it yourself, that I've become a better listener. So that means that I shouldn't care when I see you upset? No, no. You should care. It gives us joy as men to know that our women care. But just do it from a distance. We would always get to that point, that space where we can actually share what's going on with us. This is interesting. Look. I love you more than you can ever imagine. But I just wish you'd understand some things. However, I completely understand that I can't expect you to, uh, to understand something that I haven't even explained before. Exactly. Okay, okay. So how about this? Going forward, let's try to be more communicative. Is that fine? Even when you're upset. Ooh. Uh, I'll try. I'll try. It won't be automatic, but I'll definitely try. Okay. I guess I'll try to. 
you give you some space when you're upset. Doesn't that mean that you now decide to move out of the house and travel to the mountains? Though? Space now, space now. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll, I'll try, I'll give it a try. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, it's already working. <laughs> So, um, you see this house? Um, I've been paying for it. Uh, they graciously allowed me to pay in installments. So, um, that's why I've been supposedly stingy. <laughs> if this is a joke or some kind of prank, can you just stop it so we can go home? Because I do not have time for this. Um, well, like you can see, it still needs completion. Uh, but once I'm done with the payment for the purchase, I can work on that. Are you being serious? Very serious. My goodness. I don't even know what to say. Why didn't you tell me anything? It was supposed to be a surprise. And, um, but well, I still have to the end of the month to complete the payment for the purchase. So I might still be stingy to the end of the month. How much is left? Um, uh, 1.9 million. And you have? Um, 1.2 on the dot. Well, just to let you know that I've been saving and I've not been wrecked yet. It's just that, anyway, I'll I'll give you two million this evening. What? From where? You've been saving. 100k here, 10k here, wow. even 2k saved. Wow. From every money you gave me, I was saving something, no matter wow. how little. Wow, I'm very proud of you. <laughs> Thank you, baby. Oh. So, now that you know I'm not stingy, and now that I know you're not reckless, um, even though I didn't use that word reckless. Well, I need to let Cynthia and I know about this. Um, they know already. They do? Yes. Even before me? Um, it was supposed to be a surprise, but... Um, hey! Uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. It was supposed to be a surprise, but I didn't want to end up surprising myself. Goodness. <laughs> It's okay. It's okay. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Um, hold on. Hold on. Um. Why are you taking it out? I need to take it out. I'm going to complete the payment today. And I don't want someone else coming to price my house. Now. <laughs> 